When the Cold War reached its boiling point, the United States Navy faced a nightmare rising from the East Soviet bombers capable of launching long-range missiles before a carrier group could even see them. The ocean's guardians were suddenly vulnerable. No fighter in the American arsenal could climb fast enough, fly far enough, or Soviet strike early detected. enough to stop what was coming. So, in secret hangars, engineers began sketching the impossible, a machine that this could outrun the, the storm. It had to take off from steel decks, dogfight at low speeds, intercept bombers at twice the speed of sound, and survive the brutal landings of carrier warfare. Every equation this said it couldn't be remarkable. done. Every law of physics whispered no. But so the Navy refused to listen. A single question ignited an engineering revolution. What if a plane could change its very shape to survive? That question would give birth to a legend, the F-14 Tomcat. And this is the story of the most extraordinary fighter no, you see the stress America load right ever here. built. But the coefficient of thermal expansion... It's too high. Yes. The Tomcat was it. born from failure. Its predecessor, it. oh, the F-111, was too heavy, too complex, a flying brick that nearly broke the Navy's confidence. But Grumman engineers refused to surrender. Inside their Long Island facility, a new design took shape lighter, faster, smarter. They called it the Tomcat, a predator built to protect. Every rivet, every screw, every curve, was refined with one purpose, survival at sea. As the first prototype rolled out of its hangar in 1970, the world watched the dawn of a new age in American aviation. It wasn't just a plane, it was a challenge, hurled at nature itself. And yet, the Tomcat's greatest secret wasn't its speed or its firepower. It was something far stranger, something alive. Because this aircraft could change form, adapt, and evolve mid-flight. The sky had never seen anything like it. We've done it. <laughs> At low speeds, its wings swept wide, graceful, like a bird hovering on the edge of the wind. But when danger struck and velocity climbed past Mach 1, the wings folded back, slicing through air like blades. This variable sweep wing design gave the F-14 two souls a dogfighter and an interceptor both alive in one body. The German Luftwaffe had once dreamed of such a machine during World War II. Grumman made it real three decades later. Within the heart of the Tomcat, a computer constantly calculated wing angles 40 times a second, balancing lift and drag with mathematical precision. Each movement of those wings was poetry a mechanical heartbeat that turned chaos into control. But wings alone Ready don't define board. a warrior. To master the sky, the Tomcat would need a heart one strong enough to endure the impossible. At the center of the F-14's body lay the wing box, a massive structure binding the two wings into one soul. It had to be unbreakable, yet light enough to defy gravity. Aluminum wasn't strong enough. Steel was too heavy. The answer was titanium rare, costly, and brutally difficult to shape. To work it, Grumman built a one-of-a-kind facility that could weld metal in a vacuum using a stream of accelerated electrons, electron beam welding, a process so precise, it looked like lightning trapped in glass. The result was a masterpiece of American metallurgy, a titanium skeleton capable of enduring 7.5G turns at Mach 2 without bending. It was strong enough to carry the wings, the missiles, the radar, the engines, the entire dream. But power, like life, needs breath. And what came next would test every pilot's courage. The Tomcat's original engines, the Pratt and Whitney TF-30, were beasts with unpredictable tempers. They could propel the plane past Mach 2, 
but one wrong maneuver could cause compressor stall, a violent failure that ripped apart airflow and turned thrust into flame. Dozens of pilots fought against it. Some didn't survive. Among them was Lieutenant Kara Hultgreen, America's first female carrier fighter pilot who lost her life when an engine flamed out on approach. It was tragedy, written in titanium and fire. But from the ashes came evolution. In 1984, the F-14 received the General Electric F-110 engine lighter, stronger, 32% more thrust, and finally worthy of the aircraft it powered. For the first time, the Tomcat could leap from the carrier deck without afterburners, not forced, but free. The beast could now breathe on its own. Lock it in now. Clear. Looking good. Power means nothing without vision. The F-14's radar, the AWG-9, could see enemies 200 miles away, guiding six Phoenix missiles at once. Top Each missile one. was a spear Clear of fire launch. that soared to Mach 5, arcing into the stratosphere before diving down like thunder from the heavens. It wasn't just a weapon, it was prophecy. No other aircraft on Earth could control such fury with such grace. Every pilot who flew it said the same. It feels alive. But every flight had to end where it began on a moving runway no wider than a city street. And that's where courage met gravity. Milestone 6. Launching from a carrier is not flight. It's controlled violence. Steam catapults hurled the F-14 from 0 to 180 miles per hour in two seconds faster than any car on Earth. As the shuttle released, the Tomcat's Tomcat nose lifted, miles. wings wide, engines screaming. Takeoff was triumph. Landing was war. A single steel hook beneath the tail had to catch one of four arresting cables, each stretched across the deck at 150,000 pounds of tension. One miss, and death waited beyond the edge. In 2002, a fractured arresting hook nearly claimed another crew, snapping mid-landing from hydrogen embrittlement. Even steel breaks under pressure. But the men and women who flew these machines never did. Because for them, fear was just another force to overcome. For over three decades, the F-14 ruled the skies. From the decks of the USS Enterprise to the silver screen of Top Gun, it became more than a fighter. It became America's wings. Each titanium plate, each bolt, carried stories of sacrifice and brilliance. When the last Tomcat retired in 2006, mechanics wept as they touched its fading insignia. It wasn't perfect. It was magnificent. The lessons learned from its design live on in the stealth edges of the F-22, in the balance of the F-35, in every dream that dares to fly higher. The Tomcat's roar still echoes through every generation of aviators who looked to the sky and whispered, I want to fly that. Close it. The F-14 Tomcat was never just metal. It was imagination turned into motion, fear turned into fire. It was the sound of freedom forged in titanium, flown by courage and remembered in silence. As the sun sets behind its silhouette, the world remembers not the wars it fought, but the spirit it carried. Because legends never die. They simply take off again.